Welcome party people to 40 years of hip hop. I'm your host with the most Mr. Ron and the G-Man is in the back. 40 years of hip hop where we review 1000 songs over the span of 40 years from 1979 to 2019. So my man, what you got for us today? Yes, today, episode 37, we got Sean Price featuring Kizu, a 2007 song called You Already Know, and from the album Jesus Price Superstar. Before we dive into this review, this month we're giving away a limited edition Funko Pop Notorious B.I.G. figurine. All you have to do is subscribe, like, or leave a comment to have a chance to win. But just subscribe, basically. Also, check out our premium apparel store that we have. A few t-shirts there with original artwork coming and more coming on our way. And it's all drawn by Mr. Ron, the premium artist designer. And you like cool artwork, but then check out our 40 years of hip hop display. It's these are metallic posters that we just started. And like the tees, more are coming on the way. Our first official collab is with the 1804 brand. It's 1804 The Movement. And we rock in their caps and beanies. And we have a few to draw for all to the people that subscribes to our posts. Okay, thank you. So what you think about that, Ron? Well, I love Sean P. You know, member from uh, Helter Skelter. Uh, yeah, so from my point of view, that guy in 2007 just came out and saved the day because hip hop started to suck at that time. Originality, my man, what you got for us for originality? For originality, uh, this song is a statement. Uh, you already know that P is the illest. A boastful rap song just like I love them, you know? Straight up Brooklyn style, my kind of rap, hip hop purist representing Decepticon Sean. Nothing new but cool, you know? But did you know as a fun fact that Sean Price and Rock from Helter Skelter and also Sticky Fingers and Federal Star from Onyx. They were once members of the legendary Brooklyn gang, the Decepticons. You know, these were guys that used to mug people in the train, terrorize the neighborhood. That was at the end of the 80s, beginning of 90s, you know. And they were not like major drug lords, you know. It was really like they stood up for each other, you know. And also, did you know as a fun fact that Jay Z had a leak? Uh, at a track that leaked in 2008 called BK Anthem and he made a reference to it. He says, wasn't safe on the A train in G or the F, Decepticons, low life mm. niggas, snatch the polos off your chest. You know, and that was a song that was supposed to make it on the Notorious B.I.G. soundtrack, but it never did. Instead, he mm. went with Brooklyn We Go Hard with Sandy Gold. So, mm. as originality, this song has not to bring, doesn't bring nothing new. It's boastful rap to the spirit's form. I give it a 3.5. As for me, originality. Is this song original? If so, how? Well, I'll tell you straight up, not really. This song is not really original. And like I said before, it doesn't have to be. Not every track has to be groundbreaking. And sometimes if you're original or groundbreaking doesn't even mean that you're dope you know so <clears throat> from my point of view i think that that song brought us back to the essence of hip-hop a dope beat and just straight up bars okay no r&b chorus you know no like shiny hooks just straight up bars because around that time in 2007, like I was, like I said before in the introduction, I found like, you know, hip hop was falling off, you know, like it was actually telling us what's going to happen in the future with this art form that I grew up on and love. And Sean P came out and kind of like saying, hey guys, this is what it's supposed to be. For these reasons, Originality, I give it a 3.5. Yes, we on par, we on par. 
So, for delivery, lyrics, and flow. Yo, who got more raps than P? What a way to start a track. <laughs> this is like Inspector Deck on Triumph, you know? When he starts a track with he bombs at my, atomically, you know? Um, oh, yeah. Rock from the Helter Skelter and BCC Days Bootcamp Click. He was already nice, but something happened after his musical break. He came back f- as Sean Price, a complete other MC. Angry, motivated, inspired, a mix of all of it. Some MCs become more skilled with the years, but very few of them do, actually. Mm-hmm. His flow, his lyrical abilities, uh, very few. His punchlines and all. He went from top 50 to my top 10 best MCs of all time. Ooh. I know it's a pretty bald statement, but I... I I stand by my statement, you know. Before right, his passing, right. that's how he, he became so ill. And sadly, mm-hmm. his career got short. Rest in peace. You made me feel, thanks to you, you made me fall back in love with hip hop in 2005 when hip hop was starting to spread its wings too much, you know. And mm-hmm. it helped. And on the chorus, we got my man Skizu. He killed it. A chorus in hip hop. Can make a song break or fail even for the best MCs and mm-hmm. Skizu delivered it he immortalized the track with his chorus you know yeah and yeah, yeah. as a hip-hop quotable I got listen I'm one of the best you know that nice yo similar with shit but that's not some price though might go psycho liposuction knife poke white folks I know nothing Oh, the whole stra- the whole track <laughs> is a quotable. The only flaw is it was too short. Yeah, I agree. And courtesy of Genius.com for the lyrics, and I had to go with a 4.5. Okay, okay. Not so bad, not so bad. Um, In 2007, okay, uh, let's take a look at the rappers that were basically mainstream okay so i i actually just created like a quick list of half of the rappers are basically billboard charters and the other half are like my personal choices of albums that i was listening to in 2007. so you had soldier boy lupe fiasco birdman jay-z little brother chameleonaire kanye west 50 cents asap rock and one of my favorite talent, Kwali. And I feel that the P could literally go toe to toe with any of those MCs and probably dust like at least half of that list. At least. Sean P uh, represents as usual, okay? He has that unique, raspy, powerful voice. His cadence, his delivery is kind of unique too. You know, he whenever you hear Sean P, you know it's him. You know, you cannot uh, uh, um, uh, make an error on that, not only voice, but delivery. The way I see it, Sean P works better in a group. Helter Skelter or Bootcamp, uh, or bootcamp Click, for uh, example. His voice is so freaking powerful. The group dynamic suits him best. As a solo artist, when he steps on the mic, he has that omnipresence, you know? Like, he just makes you look sad, you know? Like, whenever you hear, and this is what I really enjoy about, like, Helter Skelter. I feel that rock, because there's rock and rock, um, was just there to kind of, like, make Sean P look good. You know, don't get me wrong. You know, <laughs> Rock has some good lyricism. But when my man P step, oh, my God, man. Especially on that song, you know, uh, Le Fleur, Le Fla, Esh, Koshka. You know, and, and, and five, sure five. Review that one. That's right, that, that's right. Um, I also find that a full album of Sean P is not easy to listen to. You know, at a certain point, it tends to be a little monotonous, okay? And and the same thing, and, and it's not just Sean P. Uh, and it's just, again, guys, it's my 
opinion, okay? Uh, DMX. I really have issues listening to a whole DMX album. After three, four, five songs, I'm good. One of the best MCs in, in the industry, Busta Rhymes. Love Busta. I find that listening to a full Busta album is a little difficult. Unless, unless, again, it's just my private personal choice. Give me an album, 10 songs, 40 minutes. That's all I need. 10 of your best songs, you know? And when albums become too long, I tend to get lost in them. Um, especially, you know, like, again, like guys like Sean P, DMX, uh, uh, Buster Rhymes, they have such present on the mic that it could become a little overwhelming. For these reasons, for delivery, which consists of lyrics and flow, I give it a 3.75. That's good, that's good, but I just disagree. Sean P, it's the, it's, I listen to an album, it's not like Saturday or oh, you got these guys having a whole album by themselves, it's difficult. They are nice MCs, they have an ill flow, mm -hmm. you know, but uh, Sean P is able to maintain an album on its own, you know, a, a little bit of featuring, but not too much. That's what a real MC can do. And as a Buster Rhymes, uh, Buster Rhymes too, like, he's a great MC. Don't forget to go check out Illy 2, the new album by Buster Bust. It's a perfect, great album, but the only flaw, it's too many songs. When you got too much, <laughs> it's hard to maintain, to listen to the flow. It's it's hard, you know? 10, 12 song max would have been perfect. You should have done, you should have done a two parts album, you know, part one or part two, at least three. That's my point of view. So now, yeah. as production and beat, Brooklyn style beat, the hip hop purist has spoken. Mm -hmm. The beat is so addictive. It's a battle style kind of beat. It's repetitive, I know, but it's addictive. The best beats are the simple ones mostly. Notes about the producer, my man Night Wonder from Little Brother. That's a For new sure. producer. Simply put, he's the best producer in hip hop since the millennium era, you know, to me because he's like the new Primo of this generation, you know, past millennium, because Primo was the only one that could appeal to all MCs. Compared to RZA and Pete Rock that are incredible producers, Diamond D, they could, they don't fit with everyone, you know? Certain people, they can't use their beat, and that one and Primo, they could even give a beat like to Christina Aguilera, Aguilera, people like this, Madonna, they could use, they could use their production, you know, that's why. Mm -hmm. And also, what more can I say about it? Samples, only one, only one sample for the beat, you know? In the art of sampling, creating a beat mm -hmm. with only one sample is a great start. And the sample is from a 1979 Barry White hit, I'm on fire. And courtesy of WhoSample.com, we got our information for productions, uh, sampling. So this beat overall, it's ill. It's a nail beat. I give it a 4.25. What about you, Rob? Oh, okay. All right, of course, classic overreacher, <laughs> you know. Uh, as for me, Production and beat, produced by Ninth uh, Wonder, like you said, and um, yeah, it, it just actually shows a little bit of the pulse of hip hop around that time, in, uh, er, in uh, I would say like mid uh, 2000s. Um, the mixing style of that particular song, if you listen to it, is a little muffled, okay, kind of like reminiscing of old school production, a little bit a la BDP, you know, in the late 80s, um, early 90s, it's changed a little bit, but it's very raw, okay, like it's not polished, um, you could never, uh, how could I say this, you could never uh, mistake this for like a Pete Diddy instrumental, you know, because it's so raw and, and, and um, on point. Um, it's one sample deep, okay, uh, like my man, the G-Unit says, 
Um, and at the end of the day, it's a loop. An outstanding loop, okay, a great loop, but at the end of the day, it's still just a drum loop. For these reasons, for production and beat, I give it a 3.5. Okay, fair indeed. As for relevance and longevity. This song is not old enough to be rated for longevity. It's really, you know, it's, it's 2007, you know, and it has the potential among hip hop purists such as I, Real Heads, but to the new generation, I don't know if they'll see it in a few years later on. When I get older, it'll be on my list still. Sean has always been shadowed in the <laughs> underground status, you know, it stuck to him. And the shitty music industry is responsible for this, you know, it's not like the one that charted, like uh, Ron said before, the other MCs, the new kind of flow and everything, the trap music. It's in an era where that kind of music, it's, it's really for the real heads, you know, people not knowing what's really good out there. So for relevance, longevity, is it gonna get sampled in time? I doubt it. But it's a night wonder production piece with Kizu P. I give it a 3.25. Good, good, fair, fair. <clears throat> relevance. Is this track still relevant? Longevity. Did this track stand the test of time? Considering that it was uh, it was released in 2007, so the song is about 13 years old. And uh, as you know from watching our previous videos, I also like to know what the younger generation thinks about these tracks that you know we've cherished for so long. Uh, except for this one, I found nothing. Okay, no one reviewed that song. Um, like I said, in my book, Sean Price is secondary to Helta Skelta, okay? Um, and, and again, I find that uh, as a whole, whenever you put Sean P in a group environment, he just shines better, okay? The song is not a classic, okay? But just a reminder, okay, that this song will, will make you say, hey, Remember when hip hop was the creating art form and not just a corporate machine backed up by social media, which is, from my point of view, the current state of hip hop. For these reasons, I give it a 3.75 on okay, five. Good point, good point. But I disagree, Sean P. He, yes, as part of Helter Skelter, he was great, but as part of an MC, the whole BCC bootcake clip, these guys were so underrated, you know, not misunderstood. These are the yeah. greatest MC, the greatest collective on earth to me, you know, and you got Wu-Tang, you got BCC, they're almost on the same level, you know, so, and they're the most consistent guys, the, BC, the bootcamp clique over the years, you know, they're still releasing dope music as of today. So, yeah. Yeah. for yeah. power, for impact, From the cannon. You see, for impact, it shows that even if you're an older god, you can still rap it and be the illest MCs. That old school rappers are simply the best. They are more experienced. They seen that they went through the highs and lows of the music industry. Of what is it to have a piece of artwork? Did you know that the word rap stands for rhythm and parch poetry? So that's why. Mm -hmm. So. Mm -hmm. Oof, they are the ones that crafted the art form, these MCs, and real rap will never die, Immortal P. I just hope that the new generation will understand this one day and reflect on that, because nowadays the music is getting so far from the rhythm and poetry, you know? They mumble, they talk, they just, mm, they make Some noise, just you sing. know? That's killing it, the hip hop. Is it gonna still be called hip hop in a few years from now? Maybe it's gonna be a new genre. Ex That's the problem, you know. I, I think, I think to answer your question, I think it's going to be hip hop with a yeah. B. 
that's why where hip hop is heading from my point of view. So I wish that song had more impact. So to me, I had to go with a 3.25. Oh, oh, okay, okay, okay. As for me, was this so impactful? Well, it did chart. Not for long and not high, but it charted. Okay. And not that we don't we don't really care. Uh, it's still a nice gesture gesture okay to see that an album like sean price uh it basically charted one week one week at 196 on the billboard top 200 but it charted <laughs> just a little what's up you know so um not a very impactful song you know like you had to be ahead and already by that time Sean P was already considered old school, you know, because he was so active uh, in Helter Skelter and Boot Camp Click in the 90s. So, for impact and for these reasons, we match my brother and I give it a 3.25. Okay. So, me as a total, I came out with 18.75 out of 25 for a 75% percent mm. percentage. So, BCC for Life, Bootcamp Kick, 5 5, Vox Shot, Black Moon, indeed, Elton indeed. Skelter, uh, who I forgot, mm -hmm. uh, Storang Wonder, everyone. Storang, come my on. Man's, uh, OGC. What about yeah, you? Louisville Slugger. Yeah, what, what about you? All right, as for me, you know what? I got a 17.75 on 25 for a 71% and that's what's up. Pretty close, pretty close. We're on par. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So thank you for watching. Don't forget, we got our tees. We that's got our right. new tees for the years of hip hop. You could cup one of them. We got many colors and everything. Thank you very much. Yeah, yeah. All right, party people, peace. This is Mr. Ron and the G-Man, peace and we are. Thank you for watching. Remember this month we're giving away a limited edition Funko Pop Notorious B.I.G. figuring. All you have to do is subscribe to have a chance to win. Also check out our premium apparel store. We have original t-shirts and more coming on the way. You like cool artwork? Then check out for the years of hip hop displayed metallic posters. And our first for official collab with 1804 The Movement. That's why we rock in the fresh caps and beanies. You can find all these links in the description below. Subscribe, like, share, and comment. Peace and we out.